Good afternoon or good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for your participation, despite your very busy schedule. Now we'd like to start the special presentation uh, event uh, organized by the Susana City on building future city. I will be the MC today. I am the member of the Susana City's uh, planning division in charge of the future policy. My name is Tom Suzuki. Thank you very much for your cooperation in advance. At this presentation, we have taken the full measures against the COVID-19. Infection. And thank you again for your cooperation. Before the start of the uh, program, I would like to introduce a special guest today, the person who is uh, most suitable to talk about the collaboration with the Ruben City, the, from the Ruben Planet Holdings, the uh, CEO, Mr. James Kofner, is here with us. And as a representative of citizens, we have 15 residents participating as well. At this presentation, uh, we have a live stream, streaming of the YouTube channel of Sono City, and many people are uh, already connected. Now, on behalf of the organizer, the host, we'd like to introduce the mayor, Kenji Takamura of Sono City. He will uh, make a first presentation. It's entitled Toward Realization of Affluent Garden Future City, Susono City. I am Takamura, mayor of Susono City. First of all, I would like to explain about two things today. The first is about on this year of the city's 50th anniversary, a very important milestone, the background on why we have made a carbon neutral city declaration. And another would be uh, my thoughts on toward realizing a decarbonized society. So I would like to directly explain to the citizens from myself. And we will be explaining about uh, the relation and collaboration with Wuben City too. And in this room, we have 15 citizens that we have invited. So for the, they are the members who have been participating in the workshop for the Iwanami Station Area Improvement Projects. So mainly from the Iwanami Ward and also from the Ward Mayor Society, Women's Society, those groups who represent the cities. And also as a representative of the young citizens from the city's high schools, we have students also participating. And later on, I'd like to ask, uh, take questions from this uh, floor also. And so thank you very much much for joining us today. Also, today I will be explaining about the collaboration between the city and Wuben City. And the most appropriate guest, the representative director and CEO of Wuben Planet Holdings, uh, Mr. James Kuffner, has been invited. So James, thank you very much for joining us today. I will first like to start to explain about those two points. And summarizing, it's titled Toward Realization of an Affluent Garden Future City, where everyone will be proud to be in. This year marks the 50th anniversary of Susano Cities, and we have uh, created the fifth comprehensive plan of Susano City. Mount Fuji, rich nature, groundwater, a pest pastoral landscape, and also the companies that are leading the regional economies are some of the unique characteristics of Susano City. That is at the base of our plan and also for the community development policy. Based on these as a foundation, we've set our future image 10 years out in the future, and it is titled the Future Garden city that everyone will be proud of. That is a beautiful harmony of the countryside and the future city. Susano City is placed with special gifts of nature like Mount Fuji. Other than that, the city flower, Ashitaka Azalea, the native vegetation, it can be found in our city. Also, there will be the rice paddies and the green fields inside of our city. So there is a very rich pastoral landscape surrounding us. A countryside, but a beautiful countryside is where we live in. If we try to take a more macro type of perspective and look at the environment surrounding our daily lives, we can first recognize that global warming has set off climate changes. And globally, we are exper experiencing torrential rain, floods, 
extreme heat, forest fires. These various natural disasters are occurring. The climate change issues are today a common and urgent issues of humanity. Even in Susono City, when we experienced the torrential rain in July of this year, we saw the rivers flooded and also mudslides occurred in various parts of the city. Fortunately, uh, there was no uh, big impact to the lives of people and to the assets of our citizens. But going forward, in order to pass on this rich natural environment of Susumo City to our future children, we'll have to take global warming measures, countermeasures immediately. And for that, Susumo City is going to take an all-city effort to work on carbon neutrality achievements. And therefore, we have made a carbon neutral city declaration today. This is to declare to become a city with zero global warming gas emissions by 2050. For Sisono City, starting with the collaboration with Wuven City, we will also be leveraging the various proposals that we will be receiving from our member companies of SDCC, Susono Digital Creative City, a concept. And uh, we would like to deploy specific initiatives toward achieving carbon neutrality. For example, we are thinking of introducing a next generation wind power generation facility at our regional evacuation centers and also the forests that accounts for 60% of our city area. We are thinking of reconstructing the forest values to absorb CO2. Those various initiatives are being considered. So we know that the hurdle is quite high, but the uh, latest challenge to realize carbon neutral with the uh, united efforts of citizens, business operators, stayers, and local government. As a corporate initiative in a city, the Rubin Planet Holding is constructing the Rubin City, of course, represented by the uh, Mr. James Kaufner, uh, guest today. And, uh, and uh, uh, this Rubin City, a living lab, is currently being constructed. To promote development of a future oriented city, in March last year, we announced Susono Digital Creative City concept, our unique concept, in, and in short, it's called SDCC concept and uh, which aims to develop our unique next generation type community of the near future. Digital and creative are two key words under the rich natural environment at the foot of Mount Fuji. Citizens and corporations with creative mindset will utilize digital technology and data to solve all sorts of local problems in this next generation type futuristic city. As the major uh, pillars of this initiative, nine action directions are set. For example, industry development, secure employment, develop transportation, mobility environment, create a local cycling-based symbiotic ecosystem resilient against disasters. And the uh, one of the initiatives that we launched is to develop area around the Wubun city and its fusion with the local area and local community. In concrete, at the occasion of Rubun City announcement, we prepared a basic concept to develop northern area, which is a combination of our original community town development plan of northern area and the new elements from the Rubun City. The short-term plan focuses on Iwanami station of the JR area, which is the nearest station there, and through collaboration with Rubun City with its leading edge technology like small size mobility. We will improve the Iwanami station area as a center, which should drive the development of the entire northern area in the future. In order to realize such a concept, since June this year, we began our effort to set the basic plan to build Iwanami Station neighborhood in the northern area. We held workshops, which over 40 people participated, who represent the resident chamber of industry and commerce and local company employees. 
While listening to the opinions and aspirations together, we are thinking of this new city development. During the workshops, we discussed the good points such as natural, beautiful environment and beautiful scenery of the Kise River, as well as some of the possible concerns like traffic condition around Iwanami Station during the peak hour of commuting to work and school. Yesterday, uh, 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 or two days ago, on October the 3rd at the fourth workshop, summing up the past group discussion, passionate presentations were made by nine uh, groups. We will surely accept the participants' aspirations and reflect that in the development plan. Uh, from our challenge to build the garden future city Susono, we are now to enter uh, into a stage to realize such a city. To realize such a city, despite the tight financial situation, it is necessary to secure funding for the future investment. Thus, we will promote and utilize corporate version of hometown tax. At present, Toyota Motor Corporation and multiple other corporations support this idea. In the future, we will continue to encourage many other corporations to support this new tax system by maximizing the attractive features of Susono City, we will continue our challenge to create easy and comfortable city to live together with the citizens and businesses with an aim of building an affluent garden future city, Susono, which everyone is proud of. This concludes my presentation. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Continuing, we'd like to ask Mr. James Kuffner to give us a presentation. Mr. Kuffner, please. Thank you very much for joining us today. The presentation will be made in English. Thank you. First of all, I would like to thank Susono City and thank Mayor Takamura for this invitation to participate today. I'd also like to express my congratulations to Susono City on the 50th anniversary of its establishment. Today, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about Woven City and how we are cooperating with Susono City to create and realize a vision for the future that provides happiness and safe mobility for everyone. It's very well aligned with the goal of carbon neutrality and sustainability for not just Susono City, but for Japan and for the world. Let's take a look back at the history between Susono City and the Toyota Group. In November 1996, Toyota's Automotive Performance Test Center, later the Toyota Technical Center Higashi Fuji, was established. In the next year, May 1967, the passenger car assembly plant, later the TMEJ Higashi Fuji plant, was officially established. And four years later, on January 1st, 1971, Susono City was born. Actually, I was also born in January 1971. So I feel that Susono City is my twin. <laughs> so I have a great emotional connection to this place. But since that time 50 years ago, Toyota has walked together with Susono City. Until last December when TMEJ Higashi Fuji plant was closed, over 40 models of Toyota vehicles, such as the Mark II series, the Crown Comfort, the ISIS, as well as the Century and Japan Taxi have also been delivered to the world. In total, over 7.5 million vehicles have been produced right here. And 7,000 people
have worked at the TMEJ Higashifuji plant. The Higashifuji plant has been a driving force for motorization in Japan, supporting people's daily lives and economic livelihood, as well as mobility needs. We have deepened the relationship through community activities. The Toyota School started in 1977, offering plant tours and field trips, and over 40,000 school children have visited their facilities. In addition to the Toyota School, we have participated and supported in many local community activities. And we have grown together with the citizens of Susono over 50 years. Now I'd like to tell you a little bit about the origin of Woven City, why we decided to build Woven City. It goes back to the great East Japan earthquake on March 11, 2011, where 20,000 people lost their lives. It prompted Toyota to decide to transfer production to the Tohoku region to support that area. But the technique and spirit that have been cultivated at TMEJ Hibashifuji plant were firmly passed on to Tohoku. Woven City aims to revitalize the Sasono area by creating new value and new economic opportunity in the future for this region. The Woven City concept came from a discussion between Pre President Toyota and one of the TMEJ employees who told the president that not all of them could move to Tohoku, nor could they find a new livelihood in Tohoku. This is a wonderful example of thinking about others and their feelings first. Higashi Fuji has a history built up by TMEJ members who care about others. Woven City will not be built on a vacant lot. The values and the spirit of TMEJ members will serve as the very foundation for the development of this human-centered city. These former TMEJ members and Susono residents are co-founders of Woven City. The groundbreaking ceremony was held on February 23rd of this year. Mayor Takamura-san and President Toyota and myself attended the ceremony. At the ceremony, President Toyota made a promise. The promise was that we want to weave the history of the Higashi Fuji plant into the future of this town, and that we also want to be a best in town company that people in the local community love and rely upon and trust. Keeping this aspiration in mind, we continue to step forward into the future together as Toyota and Susono City, and everyone in the community and the Shizuoka region. Our goal is to create new technology to support happy, healthy human life with a focus on mobility of people, mobility of goods, and mobility of information. We wish to build technology not to replace people, but to help unlock the full human potential and create new value, economic activity, and happiness. There are three principles that are fundamental to the concept of Woven City. The first is, it is a human-centered place where technology is developed to support humanity. It's also a living laboratory where we will develop and test new technology and services and get feedback from real residents with real needs. And it will be ever-evolving, ever-changing, and growing like this wonderful, green, beautiful place that Susono City is. We would like to develop these new products and services and bring happiness to people. 
At Woven City, we will do real life trials in areas such as smart mobility and people and goods, as well as sustainable energy, food, and agriculture. We aim to create an open city where local residents can experience a variety of exciting new technologies and services. We are excited about the carbon neutral city declaration of Susono just now made by Mayor, Mayor Takamura-san today. Toyota will make strong efforts together with Susono to achieve carbon neutrality in Woven City and beyond, focusing on the use of hydrogen. Hydrogen can play an important role in achieving carbon neutrality, and we are challenging the future and promoting research and development of hydrogen infrastructure. Hydrogen can be obtained from a wide range of resources, and it's also easy to store and deliver. Hydrogen is already widely used in industry and some mobility applications, but you, name, you may not be familiar with it yet. We hope to develop real-life applications using advanced technology so that people can benefit from hydrogen as an energy source in their daily lives. And we look forward to having you experience hydrogen energy here in Sisono. We are firmly committed to work together with local residents and Sisono City to promote urban renewal and to contribute strongly to the development of this area. To make Iwanami Station an important transportation node connecting Susono City and surrounding municipalities with Woven City. And we will fully support the Iwanami Station area project and vision by utilizing the corporate version of the hometown tax, Furusata Noze. We will work together to solve local issues, including mobility, for example, allowing citizens to experience new mobility and utilizing advanced technology. We will work together with Susono City and the citizens to make Iwanami Station a vibrant hub and exchange mobility for the community. Now I would like to share with you a time-lapse glimpse of what has been happening at the construction site of Woven City since February of this year. Since that time, the team has been working full speed ahead in spite of the COVID-19 pandemic challenges. And as you can see, a lot of progress has been made. We will continue to work hard and we still have lots of things to do and we'll have many challenges to face. But we are always inspired by the vision of beautiful Mount Fuji, which I was able to see this morning, watching over us and inspiring us to challenge a bright future for this area. Toyota is committed to working closely with the Susono community and we hope to foster an ongoing open exchange of ideas and get your honest feedback from all you of you local residents. And our goal is to work together to create a joyful, human-centered city for future generations. We are grateful for the partnership of the past 50 years, and I can't wait to see what the next 50 years will bring us. Thank you very much. Domo arigatou gozaimashita. Thank you very much. From the two speakers, we have heard uh, very exciting presentations about carbon neutral and future-looking community development. From here, we'd like to take some time to have a discussion and exchange of opinions among the citizens. We have used uh, Slido to receive the questions in advance of this briefing. We would like to pick up some of the questions which had a lot of like-its. 
and we'll ask uh, myself will ask the questions to Mayor Takamura and Mr. James Kuffner. For the questions that we were not able to cover in this briefing, the city's website will be uh, responding uh, the, those questions that we were not able to cover in this briefing. The most like it was received from this question. The community development of Susono City and Wuven City, how is it going to be connected to Wuven City? So this question we will ask Mayor Takamura to respond. Thank you very much. First of all, after the presentation in Las Vegas, towards Susono City's community development, Wuven City has provided us some great power and impact. That is for sure. We have said, I've said that we're going to target uh, to create a garden futuristic city. And first, this futuristic city part is going to be represented by Wuven City. It's going to be a smart city that the world uh, will be paying attention to. We have Susano uh, City uh, SDCC concept to use the digital technology and creative ideas to change Susano City. That is the concept that we have called SDCC. And so by having these two big projects, and executing the initiative. So we think that there will be two twin smart cities existing. That is what we will be targeting for Susano City. Susano City, SDCC, and Woven City. That is where we are headed for. And for the garden part in our garden futuristic city, we have a rich natural environment in this city. Probably just with digital, trans digital technology, the true richness of people of in their hearts cannot be achieved or hap true happiness will not be achieved just with digital technology. That is why for people living in Wuven City, we want them to also to enjoy the beautiful pastoral landscape, the garden city landscape, the more humanity side uh, for that people can live happily as a human. I think those kinds of conditions, this uh, the city has. So we would like to have the citizens uh, rediscover those great parts of Susano City so that uh, Susano City and Wuven City can uh, complement each other and heighten each other. So we'll create this uh, great, uh, good partnership between Wuven City. That is what I think. Yeah, thank you very much. I think Arigatou gozaimasu. Me, when I think about the goals of Wuven City, I really think about how we can create an uh, environment that will help not only the Susona region, but really all of the urban centers of the world that are struggling with the common problems of pollution, traffic, safety, and how we can develop technology and services to incubate, accelerate our R&D, and then create products and services for the whole world. And right here in Woven City, we aim it to become a center of excellence for mobility technology and setting an example for not only Japan, but for the world. And in order to be successful, we need help from partners and we need support from the community. So we would like to cooperate very closely with Mayor Takamura and his team and contribute to the development of this area by utilizing the Furusato Noze system. Thank you very much. Now we'd like to entertain the next question. That, uh, what kind of people are the residents of, uh, in Uber City? Come, uh, what will be their relationship with the uh, traditional resident who've been uh, here before the Urban City? There are lots of questions related to the actual plan of Urban City. I hope that James uh, can respond to this question. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. We are envisioning a variety of people that includes young families with children, uh, aging adults, and inventors, entrepreneurs, researchers, artists, to create a real-world vibrant community that represents the cross-section of life that you find in lots of cities all over the world. It's meant to be an area that will focus on creating happiness for many different varieties of people. And not just for the local community, but really to the greater area, as well as Japan. And we would always welcome 
people who have great ideas and wish to become inventors, especially the young people, I would encourage. I honestly think this is the most exciting time to be working in this area. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused everyone around the world to think how they are living and working and moving. And many people are having food delivered or goods delivered or working from home using digital technology. So this is a perfect chance to create a new future supported by new technology. So I'm very uh, honored and happy to be able to cooperate with Susono City on this ambitious project. Thank you very much. I'd like to move on to the next question. For the childbearing families and households, I want this city to have more focus on education so that they would want to live in this city too. I think this question should be responded by Mayor Takamura. Thank you. So regarding children's education, children's education, uh, you also is very important because uh, city development, community development is about people development. This SDCC concept that we have and the fifth item will be about uh, developing global, uh, pe global human resources and also to establish the IT environment. So because or thanks to COVID, this remote environment, remote working environment, digital environment has rapidly been established. So working together with Wuben City, we want to look into one future ahead, a type of uh, environment and, and use that as a foundation to provide good education. So probably there will be various type of residents uh, coming into Wuben City who will be native speakers of uh, English, their mother tongue will be English. So it will be an environment that uh, Susanoo City uh, will be experiencing for the first time and that will be a new environment for education as well. So we want to uh, leverage uh, the uh, capabilities of Wuben city and to leverage it for education and healthy edu uh, development uh, for of children uh, too. So thank you very much for pointing that out. <laughs> yes, uh, we take uh, the education field very seriously. Actually, I used to be a university professor. And so I realized the role of education in unlocking human potential which is one of the goals of the Woman City Project. So we would like to think about promoting education concepts with new technology to create uh, and instill a passion for changing uh, for the positive, the world uh, as a mission-driven uh, mindset. Also being able to personalize education with new technology is becoming uh, available, as well as developing soft skills, ningen uh, ryoku, for uh, future citizens and leaders of our community. And we are firmly committed to grow with Susono City and the community members and learn from those members uh, to support education for this area. And uh, we are very, very uh, supportive and passionate about uh, unlocking this full human potential through education. Thank you very much. So those are the uh, questions uh, submitted uh, before the uh, hand, and then uh, this is the end of that uh, question submitted uh, in advance. Now we'd like to entertain questions from the floor, the participating members. So those are people who have uh, questions, we'll uh, ask you to raise your hand and we nominate. May, if we'd like to entertain uh, many questions from many of you, so uh, please cooperate that uh, one question per each person. Thank you for your kind understanding. And then before you raise a question, please identify your name. Time is rather uh, limited today, so please be concise in terms of your question. Thank you. So those people who have a question, please raise your hand. Please, to Matsuda, please. Uh, Thank 
対話をすることだと思っております。そのような中ですけれども、部分室につきましては、少し情報が少ないかなというふうにして感じております。私たちが、えー、あのどのような影響があるのかなということを、もう少しあの分かりたいと思います。そういう意味で、今回の説明会は、お互いが分かり合える、とても貴重な機会だと思います。今後は、えー、もっとオープンに、えー、市民に対して情報を公開していただけたらと思いますがいかがでしょうか以上でございます失礼いたしました、uh, Thank you very much I'm Masuda and、uh, I am the member、uh, working、uh, in uh, this uh, citizens uh, group、uh, in order to build a better、uh, city and environment and so forth and then the、uh, I think、uh, this kind of the project to the build the future city I think it's so important to have a good dialogue amongst the、uh, stakeholders concerned including citizens and the government administration as well as the private companies and so forth and in case of uh, uh, Rubin city Well,、uh, I felt that the information release has been a little bit、uh, limited, so that we would like to know more about this Rubin City as well as its potential impact upon us as well. I would like to know more and understand more about that. So, in that sense, I appreciate that today's meeting is a quite a good opportunity to,、uh, for us to have this、uh, briefing as well as to have a dialogue. And so,、uh, and I hope that, that today will be the beginning. To have a more open、uh, way to, for us to、uh, get information and、uh, for you to release more information. What do you think? Thank you for your question. So, in terms of Rubin City, it's a question about Rubin City, so we'd like to ask、uh, James to answer the,、uh, this question. Thank you, Masuda san, for your question.、Uh, one of our key principles is to coexist with the local community. And we would like to continue the good relationship that Toyota and TMEJ h a s、uh, built together. And we would like to set up more occasions for residents of Sosono City to have a dialogue、uh, and communicate. So,、uh, anyway, that, that this is a wonderful. And we would like to prepare opportunities for Susono people and citizens to experience the technologies and services that we will develop at Woven City and continue to work with Susono City、uh, through workshops like we had. And this is just the start. And we will have many more opportunities to share information, to collect feedback. And we are firmly committed to growing together with the community. We were also going to be increasing our efforts to share information digitally through our website, as well as Facebook and social media and Toyota Times.、Uh, we hope to be able to provide accurate, up to date information so that people can feel excited, but also to share feedback or share any concerns. And we promise to work together with、uh, Susono City. To work on any,、uh, addressing any concerns. And、uh, together, I hope we can create a really a good dialogue and build a trusted partnership. Yoroshiku o n a g a i s h i m a s u Thank you. Thank you. Anyone with questions? Suda san, please. はじめまして、富岡地区で区長をやっています、須田と申します。本日はご説明ありがとうございます。えっと、私の地域の方から、えー、多くの,あの質問事項があったんですけど、1点だけご,、えー、ご質問させていただきます。ウーブンシティができることによって、国内外から多くの人たちが来られると予想されますが、交通渋滞や治安の問題など、地元の住民、高齢者にとって、住みにくい町にならないのかというご心配な声がありましたのでご質問させていただきます
Thank you very much. Uh, I am the um, award mayor of uh, Tomioka, and my name is Suda. Uh, thank you very much for your explanation and this opportunity. Actually, from my region, there were many questions that uh, I had uh, been received, but I'll just like to ask uh, one question from that. So with Woven City uh, being established, I think there will be many people coming into this region from in and out of this country. So there are some concerns raised uh, whether this uh, area would change in terms of having more traffic congestions or having security safety uh, type of problems. So uh, for these uh, concerns uh, that, uh, so the people, are, citizens are concerned that maybe it's going to be a difficult to live area for the current citizens and also for the senior population. So can you uh, talk about this point, please? Thank you for your question. For this question, we'd like to ask Mayor Takamura to respond. Thank you. So with Wuven City being established, constructed, there will be many visitors from around the world that can be expected. So I can in empathize with you for the concerns that you have. So from the peripherals of Sisono City, outside of this city, we'd like to create the community so that we can avoid having a strong uh, traffic congestion. That's what, that is the uh, plan for the community development project that we have. There's two uh, objectives uh, for our plan to create a safe and secure uh, place to live, including traffic uh, tr congestion uh, concerns, and also to create a new uh, vitalized area. So in the workshop, a uh, topic that we've, uh, uh, or the voices that we heard is that people want to have this area vitalized, but also on the other side, there are many concerns. So what kind of countermeasures that we are going to take, uh, that will be discussed with the citizens, the residents here, uh, try to balance the two, the vitalization and also the negative side uh, reductions. So we'll try to have a basic plan to achieve the balance of these two sides. I hope you can understand with this explanation. So that will be about the hardware side. Uh, for that concern, uh, we there will be a lot of soft side med, uh, advantages too, like with the data uh, digitalization uh, power, uh, many people uh, may be able to live a more happier and healthier life and have an extended uh, life. And also it might be more easier to go outside and enjoy, uh, en enjoy going outside of the house. So there will be a lot of advantages that we can expect. So we would like to receive the support from Bubin City to promote those uh, positive sides as well. Yeah, thank you, Suda-san, for your question. It's clear that human-centered means that we have to prioritize safety and security for the community. And there's going to be a lot of interest in Woven City, and it will bring visitors. But on the positive side, it will also bring, hopefully, good economic activity, as well as a lot of new value and services. So this growth and this potential does pose some challenges. But we would like to work together with Susono City to address those challenges. And in particular, I think new technology for understanding the mobility needs. And we are now creating a digital twin to simulate the movement of traffic and people around the area. So we have an opportunity to optimize and create uh, better sustainable solutions than many city planners had previously. So I'm quite optimistic that working together, um, we can create uh, solutions to these problems and hopefully improve the overall situation. Uh, but we are firmly committed to working together. And also, you mentioned um, elderly people. Uh, we believe that uh, those were going to be some of the candidates for residents. So their needs are going to have to become important to address through our mobility technologies. So Toyota is firmly committed to working together with the local community to face challenges that may come because of the growth of Woven City. But uh, because we have new technology and tools, I'm optimistic we can solve them together. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
So, so the, we have a local high school student participating in this. So we know we like to uh, invite the second year in high school, Fujisei Shin Girls School, Aika Serizawa. Uh, she is uh, going to ask a question. Hello, my name is Aika Serizawa. Currently, I'm studying in Fuji Sacred Heart School. It's my pleasure to meet you, Mr. Kafner. It's a great honor for me to participate in such a wonderful briefing today. Thank you very much to everyone. Well, some of my friends and I are going to launch a Woven City advertising group. We will be sending out information on urban development in Susono, carbon neutrality, sustainable development goals, and of course, Woven City. As students who will be responsible for the future of the world, I strongly think it is our mission first to educate ourselves by proactively learning about sorry, proactively learning about urban city and the SDGs, etc. Two, to think about what we can do. Three, to educate others by pro providing information. So, I have a question for you, Mr. Kafner. What are some of the things that you would like to teach us students? Or what would you like us to learn most about? Also, do you have any message, especially for students in the city? Thank you for your question. So, this question is to the uh, James, so could you please answer this question? Thank you, Serizawa san, for your wonderful question. And uh, you speak English beautifully. <laughs> um, I would like to say three things. You asked about a message to students, uh, especially around SDGs. And when I uh, heard your question, I was thinking, what an amazing time to be a young person. Because there's so many opportunities to create a better life for our planet with the new technology. And I think education today has a lot of amazing potential to create an optimistic view of the future. And I'm always encouraged when I see young people like you participating in the community and coming to this event to share your feeling because you are the next leader. And so we have to support you and your generation. And that's why sustainability matters to us. And I, I hope that you and your students, uh, fellow students, can uh, 
work hard to help our community achieve sustainability, to achieve the goal of carbon neutrality for Sosono City by 2050. And not only those SDGs, but as President Toyota has said, there should be an 18th SDG, which is happiness. <laughs> so how can we work hard for the future? And I think that philosophy of producing happiness should come from not always thinking about happiness for ourselves, but happiness for others. And I think that is what really moves me about the uh, history and values uh, here in Sosono with the TMEJ members. And when I was young, people used to ask me, what do you want to be when you grow up? Do you want to be a fireman or a doctor or an astronaut? But now I think the right question is, what problem do you want to solve? We should ask our young people that question. That will create a value of being mission-driven and passion to challenge the many issues that we have related to SDGs. So my advice is keep participating, keep studying, study hard, engage with the community, and we will be happy to support this community going forward and build something here that will be special on the planet. So I'm very encouraged to see young people take such an active view, and thank you very much for coming, and good luck to you. <laughs> I'm expecting uh, many, many, many more exciting things from you in the future. Thank you very much. The next question will be the last question. Another question from a high school student from the Shizuoka Prefectural High School, Susono High School, in the third grade. Mr. Hiroyoshi Sugimoto, please. え、Thank you. Uh, I am uh, Sugimoto, a high school student uh, in this uh, area. Thank you very much uh, for the invitation and the opportunity to ask this question. I have seen videos on the YouTube channel of Toyota. And uh, I think you explained also today in your presentation that you are considering to introduce various uh, services for the citizens uh, as well. So my question will be, what kind of specific services are you planning and thinking of to introduce uh, to this this area. And uh, also for you, uh, Mr. Kuffner, what kind of services do you have in mind uh, right now? Any ideas that you personally have as a new service to introduce? So that would be my question. Thank you for your question. Since it's a question regarding the Woven City service and development uh, items, I would like to ask uh, Mr. Kuffner to respond. Thank you, Sugimoto-san. For your question, again, I'm very glad to see young people come participate today. When I think about services, we are initially going to focus on mobility, but we also want to support sustainable energy, food and agriculture, health care, education, and of course, safety and security, all of the things that we believe will help support happy, healthy human life. And uh, there are many new possibilities that are opening because of new technology, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, digital technology for data, as well as simulation and uh, robotics. And I believe that these things have great potential to support the next generation of urban life. And for me, 
I'm also personally excited about flying mobility. And uh, it's been a dream of the Toyota family to build a flying car. I used to watch many TV shows about flying cars. And uh, maybe someday, Woven City can become the area that introduces flying mobility to Japan and to the world. So I think there's many, many new possibilities. Um, but those are some of the examples of the services that we are uh, looking to develop. And uh, I also think that uh, you know, in the generation where we have instant connectivity to information, we can create smarter infrastructure so that you'll be able to study and work and uh, uh, communicate with your community members much more easily. So I hope to uh, uh, introduce you uh, to many of these new technologies uh, when Woven City opens up. And of course, we will be sharing information and have opportunities for local residents to experience some of these new services firsthand. So please stay tuned. And I'm looking forward to, to your participation. Thank you. Thank you very much. So there seem to be other questions as well, but uh, because of the shortage of time, we would like to conclude this part of the session. To conclude this session, we'd like to again hear the closing remark from Mr. James Kofner. So first of all, I want to thank you all again for coming today and sharing your honest views and participating. We are really excited about the wonderful strong partnership and support that we've been able to achieve through Sasono City and Mayor Takamura, who's been working with our team. And we are strongly committed to supporting Sasono through the Furusato Noze program, but also to creating a vision for the future of this area that I believe will be a guiding light not only for Japan, but for the world. And honestly, this job is a dream come true for me. It's amazing to be able to work on a project of this magnitude and ambition right here in Susono City. And uh, I'm deeply grateful. Actually, it's because of the hard work of the Susono residents and TMEJ employees who worked hard creating products that people love and trust, that we're able to generate revenue to invest in the future. And so we are firmly committed to investing in a bright future for Susono City so that we can achieve the goals of carbon neutrality and also to create happiness for everyone. So, kyo wa arigatou gozaimasu. また皆様とお話しできることを楽しみにしてます。一緒に素晴らしい素晴らしいお作っていきましょう。Let's create participating uh, in this room and also people watching through the YouTube channel. Thank you very much for joining us today. Also, Mr. James Kuffner, despite your busy schedule, thank you so much for coming here and joining us. I would really like to extend my appreciation and very powerful comments from you I appreciate as well. So because of COVID, we do uh, we do think that we should have the, many of these kind of opportunities, but because of COVID, uh, we were not able to do that as we wish. But uh, going forward, we'd like to uh, make steady steps and receiving the understanding and uh, promoting this uh, our projects. So it has been the first of those opportunities, a first briefing. There might have been inconveniences, but uh, please understand that it was our first attempt. And uh, thank you for your understanding. The Woven City is going to be a city to create happiness for people. And also Susano City has the same vision for the citizens. We want them to feel happiness through digital technology and IT technology through our community development projects. From Woven Planet and uh, Toyota Group, to uh, there has been a strong commitment uh, to engage in the community development here. 
and also from the high school students, uh, there were proposals made. So those kinds of uh, advanced technology R&D Wuven City, if Wuven City is going to be engaged in that, then we should think about a deregalization and as the local government, we would like to provide the maximum support. So that will be my commitment on behalf of the local government. So for the development of this region uh, with Wuven City uh, and with the neighboring cities, we're going to have a good cooperation so that uh, for this uh, region and for Shizuoka Prefecture and for Japan, we want to create a bright future together. So uh, let's say that this will be our starting line, and I hope to receive your continued support and cooperation. And with the word of appreciation, I'd like to end my comments. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. And with that, we'd like to end our Susono City briefing for community development. Thank you very much for your participation.